Good morning, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Sun, moon, rising. Here we go. Let's see what's going on for the sign of Cancer. Well, Page of Swords. This is past energy. What's going on now? Death. Hmm. Who's transformation going on? I know this card says death, but I've... I always get the feeling that somebody should have put transition there because, you know, death is movement in a way. It's not an ending. It's 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 a change. So to me, that card should be made labelled changes or transformation or even changes and transformation. This, this word death, it, you know, in most people's minds, it stirs up an image of and a permanent end, ending and there's no such thing in the universe it's, it's just constant change that is the only constant thing in the universe yeah yeah it's undergoing and I feel there's something ended for you but what I will do is set off a series of events now which you're undergoing it's very uncomfortable, but these changes will be necessary for you to come into the greater good. I'm kind of getting there's somebody here that you've been struggling with for a long time. Now, this change can either work both ways. I'm getting sudden message coming in or you saying something and you finally come into the end of your rope and you finish in a very, very erratic connection here. Whether this is in work or in love, you know, personal relationships. I am getting kind of, for some of you, ending something. That is, that was very, very erratic. Or messages coming in from somebody you ended it with. And there's a reinstigation or the temptation. But whatever this is, there's a lot of change in lifestyles going on. And <clears throat> there is some people you're cutting out of your life. Mm -hmm. you're coming into a new period of happiness yeah you view somebody as being very selfish and now you've decided finally to stop disrespecting yourself and concentrate on you why not pamper yourself mm. you deserve it after this you deserve it you know There's a third party influence on their side I'm getting because I'm getting kind of two situations here. Now this could be, you know, the person you're dealing with is keeps coming to you and then going back to a third party like X to X, X to X. And this person is going to run in circles, which is fine for them. But for you, it's not so good. Also getting that you've met somebody new. You're leaving this person behind because there's somebody new on the scene. Either way, you're taking control. And there's also somebody here for one of you who wants to take the relationship onto the next level. But either way, your status in life, your view about yourself, your view about work, personal relationships is changing you're actually taking control and instead of giving your power away you're taking it back if this is a work situation for you kind of getting this promotion here it's time for celebrations for a lot of you there'll be a time of celebration here there was a lot of stagnation in the past you know Somebody there just sat waiting, kept dangling carrots, so to speak, you know, leaving, coming back. As I say, but for a few of you, there's somebody here who wants to deepen a relationship and they're coming back a lot more mature. There's been a huge change in emotions here on both sides. This person you've been dealing with, it's been a very, very intense relationship, it has. But now, you know, you're coming into a happy phase in life 
and perhaps you know the person you've been struggling with finally wants to commit finally wants to settle down which will make you happy a lot of progress on getting travel in the near future for a lot of you on getting distance here pretty obvious if there's travel there's distance <laughs> you know but yeah it's it's like two scenarios going on there's an ending and new beginnings you know this this death card it might seem very ominous but it's always for the greater good i'm getting you leaving one situation and going you found somebody new for a lot of you but somebody will try and stop you play the guilt trip play the emotions but I don't think a lot of you are ever in any of that. There is a decision here, you know, you don't want to regret. I'm kind of getting you already regret a lot of things that the person you're dealing with regrets. Mm -hmm. They're afraid. They don't want to make another decision that they, that they, feel that's going to be wrong but as I say you're taking your power back the decision is going to be with you now the onus is on you I'm also picking up for one or two of you where you were the chaser in the past you're now becoming the chased you're now becoming the one people want to be with But either way, this, these decisions you're making now or me sudden messages coming in, sudden changes, you know, will kind of put you on the back foot for a while, but you'll, you'll soon adapt. It's like there's been a long period of waiting, a long period of sort of stagnation. You know, there's a choice here between two people Two different people for one or two of you. A Mr. Steady Eddie and somebody new and exciting. Somebody here took you for granted and has been taking you for granted. And you're saying no more. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now.